Visualizing products with fractions, item 32290. Each product represents a fraction of a circle that is shaded. Drag the pictures to the table that match the products in each column. So down below we have one half times three fourths, we have two thirds times three fourths, and we have two thirds times one third. So we're going to need three of these models. It took me a little while to figure this out. I'm going to look at this one first because I think it's a little bit easier to explain with. So I had to figure out what fractions are being shown here. And I realized that what we're starting out with is not one whole circle because of this dotted line here. So we're forgetting about this part right here. It's not, it's not part of the problem. So then what fraction of the whole circle is left here with these solid lines? They don't make it obvious for us from the beginning. But if I continue this line like this, and this horizontal line like that, then I can see that this fraction that we're starting with here is one, two, three pieces. And there would be four pieces of that same size in the circle. So what we're starting out with here is three fourths of the circle with one fourth being ignored. This piece right here is one fourth. So let me erase my lines here. So we're starting out with, it's actually three fourths. But then this red dotted line, it cuts that perfectly in half. So this drawing is showing one half of three fourths. So here is one half of three fourths. And that one goes there. Um, let's look at this one now. So following the same process as before, this whole big dotted line section we're ignoring, we're only dealing with this solid line piece here. But what is that? It doesn't make it obvious here. If I draw a line like this, um, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find how many pieces of this size will fill in the hole. And so it would be one, two, three to fill in the hole. So this is a third. So I'm starting out with one third. I'm going to erase that line. Starting out with a third. But then it's split up. It's split right here. But what is this blue area? It looks like it's two thirds of the one third. Two thirds of one third. That's right here. So this one goes here. Let me erase this line. All right, so I've got one left. Two thirds of three fourths. So following the same process as I did before, this is going to be three fourths. One, two, three. We're ignoring the dotted line section. And then it's this three fourths is split into three even pieces. One, two, three even pieces. Two of those three pieces are blue here. So this is two thirds of three fourths. Check. This diagram shows one half of three fourths of a circle. Three fourths are green, half of that shaded blue. This diagram shows two thirds of three fourths of a circle. Three fourths is green, two thirds is shaded blue. This diagram shows two thirds of one third of a circle. One third outlined in green, two thirds of that shaded blue.